Alright. Okay, now we are on the lesson seven. So it's optative and potential. So this means that it's not like present and present things that means that something will take place. This is just say maybe is possible. So normally how we translate this, you can translate like this, may, might, should, or would, you know? For example, like Daria, he may run, he might run, he should run and would run. So this means that we are using the English, may, might, should, would. This means that is this kind of thing, optative, it's not talking about, it might happen. It might really happen. It might be just a possibility. This why later we will learn together. It comes with the, together with the word like sache, you know, yadi, like if. Okay, this is just a quick review. All right? So let's go for the optative. This is called optative because it's like kind of option. Or potential means that it, it can happen. And the verbal termination is, all right, so this one is a long one. A is a short one. So I will recite like this. Aya, ayum, ayasi, ayata, ayami, ayama. So the difference from the present tense is in present tense, there's no long A here, but in alternative for the second person, there's long A, right? So I'll recite again. Aya, ayum, Eyasi, eyata, eyami, eyama. Okay, so this is a, a normal one. So if this shortcut will be e, eyum, eci, eta, emi, ema. This means that you drop the yya. All right. <clears throat> so eya, eyum, eyasi, eyata, eyami, eyama. Or e, eyum, eci. Eta, emi, ema. Right? So this is not difficult. With the root, da, and then with the conjugation, a. Remember, a is the first conjugation group. You got da, wa. So, da, we, ya, da, we, yum. Da, we, ya, si, da, we, ya, ta. Da, we, ya, mi, da, we, ya, ma. Then, da, we, da, we, yum. Da, we, si, da, we, ta. Da, we, mi, da, we, ma. Alright? So maybe one student who want to volunteer to recite the, this one. Anybody want to volunteer? You can uh, raise your hand in the Zoom. Try to use the function raise the hand. Uh, Shumai here. Okay. Yes, yeah, Shumai, you can recite. Dawe, Dawe, ya. Dawe. Da we yum, da we ya si, da we si, da we ya ta, da we da we ta, da we ya mi, da we mi, da we ya ma, da we ma. Can you recite the long one first? The this one and this one first. Da we ya, da we yum, da we ya si, da we ya ta. Dabi yami, dabi yama. Okay. Okay. Mm. Repeat again. Yeah, yeah. The long one before the short okay. one. Oh, long one. Okay. Dabi yam, dabi yam, dabi yum, dabi yasi, dabi yata, dabi yami, dabi yama. Okay. Yeah. Dabi yam, dabi yum, dabi yam, dabi yata, dabi yami, dabi yama. Okay, so it's not difficult, right? Okay, mm. so somebody want to try this one? From It's the same pattern like this, but you need to imagine because the text is not here, so you need to think how it can be. Anybody want to try? Anybody want to volunteer for this Kinea? So how should you think? So we call it this is conjugate, right? Conjugate. Anybody? Uh, Sayaji Wendy here. Maybe okay, I can try. Please. Okay. Um, kine, kine, kineya. 
kineya, kineyatum, kineyasi, kineyata, kineyami, kineyama. Then kine, kineyatum, kinesi, kineta, kinemi, kinema. Okay, for this uh, kina, for this, how, how, how do you make it into this form? Mm. Should be K I N E Y Y U. Okay, so how, 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 how you uh, pronounce Kin it? Kineyum. Kineyum. Okay, can you repeat again? Just a, a long and then short. Yeah. Okay. Kineya, Kineyum, Kineyasi, Kineyata, Kineyami, Kineyama. Then Kine, Kineyanum. Kineyatum, Kinesi, Kineta, Kinemi, and Kinema. Right. Other student, do you think that she <coughs> recite correctly? Yes or no? There's no Chine. Huh? Hmm? It shouldn't be Chine. 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 Hmm? Sorry, brother Ong, can you say clearly? No, consonant is wrong. Uh. She's pronouncing C, C. Should be Kine. Oh, ki, Ki. Oh, you're talking about K, K. Not Chi, Ki. Ki, yeah, correct, Ki. How about brother Ong, you want to try? Well, you want to try? I know, don't want to let the other students try. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so we try. Okay, let's say the first one will be Ki, Kinea, you just remember E, yeah. So it will be K I N E, how is it? K E N N will be this one. Kinea, then Kine, Kineyum. Kineyasi, Kineyata. Kineyami, Kineyama. Then will be short one. Kine, no, this one. Kine, Kineyum, Kinesi, Kineta. Kinemi, Kinema. Right? Okay, how about uh, second one? One to try. Now it's like ask you to think about it instead of just see it with your eyes. Anybody want to try the second one? How about Sumita? Sumita, you want to try? Um, yes, uh, Saigi. Uh, okay. This day, uh, this day, uh, Okay. Diseyum. Mm -hmm. Diseyasi. Diseyata. Diseyami. Diseyama. Okay. So, uh, dise, diseyum, diseyasi, diseyata, disemi, disema. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Next person. This person who want to try this garo, you just Sai, start with the Sai I yeah. try. Okay. Say Jun here, I try. Okay. Uh, Kariami, Hari, Mi, Dariyama, Darima, Kari, Yasi. Karisi, Kariyata, Karita, <clears throat> Kari, Kariya, Kari, uh, Kari Yung. Okay. Then, okay. All right. Next person want to try this Hana, Haneya. All right. Uh, how about brother So? Brazo, want to try Brazo? Brother so, can you hear me? Can I hear you, Brazo? So? Yeah. You need to unmute. Ah, yes, unmute. Okay.
You can hear me? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, okay, yes. Can you hear you now, right? The screen. I can see the screen now. Okay. I can see the screen now. Oh, you need I'm to... I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. Yeah. All right. I can can't see this. Okay, okay, never mind. That's okay. So next person, uh, okay, going yeah, what? Yeah, can, can you see or not? Now, okay. Okay, okay. You want uh, to try this? Ha, I, hana, yeah, I can try. I can try. Okay. Haneya, Haneyung, Haneyasi, Haneyata, Haneyami, Haneyama. Hane, Haneyung, Hane, Hanesi, Haneta, Hanemi, Hanema. Okay, okay, good. Thanks. All right. So you all can write like this and try yourself, okay? Okay, okay. all right. So that's how, okay, I think this is not difficult. So if uh, for those doing homework, you need to write the, the verbs that I given to you in the Google Classroom. And then you need to, we call it this is conjugate, all right? You need to write in this form, we call it conjugate. Okay, now we are looking at something we call it, uh, Something different, us. You know? Remember, us with the T become ati. Ati means uh, he is or she is. The root us actually to be. All right. So you got this one. So if you got this one, means that it would be, it should be, it might be, it would be, right? So we look at this and to do this, how to get these changes. So I will show you another screen here. Okay. So I'll show you another screen is the okay. All right. So you can see this screen, right? So now all these are this is not always all right. So remember us but the ati. What is ati? It means like there is or he is or she is. So it represents the is here, ati. But for this you got the this objective, huh? So what's the meaning of objective? So it will be like uh because we are using the objective, it means that they will be translated as would, should, may, and might. Okay. So if the person it will be siya asa, it will be like it would be okay, it should be, it might be. It will be all right. So, and then let's see. Yom will be they. They would be. They should be. Then be all right. So, and then this is you. You would be. You should be. You might be. And you all poorer. You would be. You should be. You might be. See, yam asam will be I. Okay. I would be. I should be. I might be. And asama will be we. We would be. We should be. We might be. All right. Now. You have the this is called uh it's called means that something not normal because it, it the form is not normal like just now, right? So how do we get this siya asa siyom asu siyam su siya asa asata siyam asam asama? This same like the Bali is this lesson seven. Alright, so I will explain some of the things how you get. Remember the root is as as plus a here the e change it to i. And then the YY become one Y, and then the A become uh, long A. So it got Sia. Right? So this one, the root. So that's why the first one is Sia. And how do you get this Asa? As plus A, then you got Asa, where the S is double. How you get this Asu? As plus U, Asu. This one, no need to remember by heart because I think nobody remember by heart. It's just to understand that, to explain to you why the changes come to it. When our teacher in my Bali diploma class, you also just explained it. And then if you got us and Aya, you become Seya. But Seya, you plus the UM become Siyum. That's how it possibly change. Okay. And us plus Aya, E become I, Y become Y, you got Seya. Seya plus the this. You see this is look quite similar with the a past tense, all right? But here is updated. Sia plus 
uh, um su becomes si um su. It's a third person pura. And then si ya plus i ya, like above and plus m, you got si yam. Before the i, I would be. And then si ya plus am, asam. Right? So asam will be the... Okay? Si yam plus the asam. Asam is the still i, singular. And then you got the asama. Right, so siam plus a and ma asama. So all this no need to remember by heart, but at least look at here, you notice that how things are changing. Right, because Pali is a, like say it's a direct. So instead of pronounce the a, they pronounce the pura, prefer to pronounce the iya. All right, so like this, all these changes are possible. So for this, you just need to understand that such changes can take place and it means that it will be, it should be, it might be. Or they will be, they should be, they might be. This one will come when we read some of the sutta, it contains here. But I think maybe not in this uh, lesson seven in Bali, make easy. But this sometimes happen in the sutta, all right? So at least you see, you understand it, right? So now... Uh, sa sorry, sa yes? I think Jenny, uh, mm -hmm. how you proceed? Is it possible you just use the one of these words to just construct a simple sentence, uh? So that we, we okay. know how to Alright. Okay. So let's say si ya. Uh, let's say it's like it will be. So how you call it? Maybe let's say kasako si ya. Right? He he might be a farmer. That's all. Right? Or asa. Si yum. Okay, so because it's talking about third person, if this is a third person, right? So if you want to put third person, you can put so. Huh? So is a third person. Kasako. Also, uh, it's a nominative here. Siya asa. He might be a farmer. That's all. I think the best, let me check. I will show you the tipitaka how we do. Let's say if we can see this in tipitaka. But it's not in the Bali make easy. Have you seen this before, brother? Carl? No, Saji. Okay, you never see it. Okay. Uh, I'm not familiar with this. Okay. So let me share the, this. Mm, where's the screen? All right. Because the computer, I have to kind of like start this start. Yeah. Mm. Let's open to the screen. So yeah, I have to stop the screen sharing and we start again. Okay, let me see. This is a... Okay, do you see this? Can I? Alright, this one from the... Bali. Alright, it's from the... To do with the... It say sometimes it can be kusala, wholesome. Sometimes it can be unwholesome, akusala. Sometimes it can be uh, indeterminate is a neither wholesome nor handsome. So this one way we can this, see this is a vinaya, but it's also to do with the abhidhamma. Okay, let's miss some more. That's why I say this here yeah, it look very boring, but it actually happen a lot. Okay, now this one is easy. It is female. This female, maybe talking certain female, would be rupa wati. Rupa is a look, wati is a has. So this female has good look. She and she is, would be sila wati. She has morality. Okay, Jenny? Mm, okay, yeah. Okay, so let's look some more. That's why I say this thing is not sure here. Uh, Tell you this is not the sutta, eh? Yeah, this sutta. This one is uh, right? It's your sutta. Why is so many siya on? <laughs> yeah, because it's certain, uh, this is like Abhidhamma, right? Ab this is called Abhidhamma. Yeah, uh, no wonder we never... Ten arta, no, no object. Ten the mind, maya ratana. Sometimes, yeah, in Abhidhamma. It's, yeah, you can see also in sutta. Right? In sometimes the Abhidhamma with object, sometimes without the object. Sometimes the Mayatana, sometimes has objects, sometimes no objects. So it means that it, you happen more in Abhidharma, 
All right, we bangga here. Okay, so let me go back to the share screen. Sergi, Sergi, put you here. This mm -hmm. uh, Dhamma, Dhammapada verse 218, that's a CR. Okay, uh, uh, wait, let me see if I can go for uh, Dhammapada. 218, Dhammapada. Because I was trying to find the meaning of CR before. Okay, so Dhammapada. Can you see? Right. 218. So I have to find the 218 here. So 26. Two one eight. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, let me move the screen. It's difficult to move the screen. Yeah. So yeah, it's difficult for me to move the screen. Using computer not easy. You have to share one screen by another screen. Okay. Okay, can you see? All right. 218, right? Okay. So this see yeah. Manasa with the mind. Touch would be touch would be by the mind. Right? In the sensual desire, not uh, the mind is not bound in sensual desire. So this is said to going upstream. All right. So this is just a gross translation. So anyway, you will see already in you know, this year. Okay. Okay. So Jenny. Okay. Yeah. So let me okay. copy Thanks this one. All right. So this example, it's good for this kind of question, then we have a good discussion. All right, so this is the one I copy. It's one of the Jataka, from the Jataka. So how will you translate? Okay. So, okay. so iti is woman. Siya means, like just now, it's a third person. It will be a third person here, siya, all right? So it's talking about would be would be or might be lupa wati. Lupa is look, right? So wati is a uh, has form. So has look. You can translate uh, maybe endow uh, or process with look. And then sa, because it's a feminine, it's talking about sa. So she and and then uh, sila wati is uh, endow with morality, means that she has morality, okay? Down with morality. And then siya. Siya means would be. So you can use the would be, might be, maybe, or should be. All right. So there are four ways you can translate. All right. Okay. So that's how we use the siya here. Okay. So if no question, we continue. Right, so the book also show you another example, Kareya, Kaira. Okay, so we go back to Pali Make Easy Book. Okay, now, root is ka, karoti is to do. So, Kareya, how do you translate Kareya? Somebody, third person, means that he or she, might do like this one. He might do. He might. Uh, he may do. He might do. He should do. He would do. All right. So this kareya, kareyo means they may do. They might do. They should do. They would do. All right. So kareya, kareyo, kareya si, kareya ta, kareya mi, kareya ma. So this is normal. So the short form will be kare. So from Kareya, you draw the YYA, you got Kare, right? But here got another one, we call it Kaira. Why is it? Because the R and Y. R and Y interchange. So it become Kaira. So Kaira, Kairum. Kairum, okay? Kairasi, Kairata. K 
Kairami Kairama. So this thing happened also in Tipitaka. Alright, so later I'll show you how the things change. So let me finish this one first. Alright, 23. Right? So the update words express a supposition, doubts, possibility, mild command, request invitation, courteous questions, and also a player. These words may be translated into English by using the accessory verbs may, might, should, would. So Daria means he may run, he might run, she should run, he would run. All right. Okay, now I go back to that um, changing. Okay. So to my notes just now. Okay, now this kare, yeah. How you change to kaira? Okay, kareya become kaira. R and Y they change place. So R become Y. Y become R. Then E changes to I. Alright. So and then A become A. So normally we call it uh, this we call it interchange. So Y, R and Y uh, interchange in place. And then the E become I. Then the uh, a become A, all right? So this very short one, all right? So Kaira. So you got Kaira, Kaira. Then another one, Kaira, and then the singular, Kari, Kairum, right? Then you got this one. And then if Kaira, you got Kaira, C. Okay? So this, if you can understand this, you understand the changes, all right? Okay, any question up to this point? I think the Korea, I think the balance is YA become long A, is it? YA? Because there's two Y there. So one Y already in the chain. So you still have another Y. No, no, no. no. The, 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 the sound is Y. So the Y sound interchange with R. Okay. Oh, so taken yeah. as two Y. Yeah, yeah. It's A's, just the sound. It? So remember oh. Korea and Kaira. All right, so it's just the sound, okay? But if you want to make it more logic, so because Jenny is good at analyzing things, okay, let's do it slowly. So let's say we go in one by one. K-A-Y-E. All right, you don't change the Y. Okay, so where Kauri, maybe change it to Y, you make it to single Y, all right? Because uh, it's possible the double Y change it to single Y, all right? Then from here, you also can do it. K -A -Y -E. E R A, right? So if you want it, K A uh, Y I R A. Also, yes, you can do it in this way. But the logic is just R and Y. The, the, we call it the sound, you know? or maybe R and Y sound, right? Interchange in place. There's a term we call it meta, I think it's called metathesis. Okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, this also can if you want step by step. But I think, I think it's too complicated. So you just remember Kareya become Kaira. That's all. Because you are not doing the, um, if you go, in my university, if you go for those more advanced, the master, you need to know more. You know? I think that's enough. If no question, I will go to the question because I still have other things. Two more here. Yes. Yes, you I want. want to ask if I use another word like cho choreti, yeah. So that means that this this choreti form can can form into three ways, la. Choreti. Chore ah uh, choreti the the present word. So choreti this one. This one choreti. Are you talking uh, about this choreti? choreti? Uh, All right, choreti will be if you in the update will be choreya. Uh, right. uh, uh, right. uh -huh. Okay. You you are talking change. No, this is only special for this uh, this car karoti. Only for this only case only. only yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, only for this uh, case. R, yeah. You have the R R R that means would it be changing like Chore T also have the R would it? Yeah, talking about it? Cho Re right. Cho Yi. No, no, Cho Yi Ra Si. Uh, you have to check if the Tipitaka got this one. Okay, we can check. Okay, let's, let's check. Because sometimes it's good to uh, let you all 
curious uh, that's good you enough. Know, for the okay. arm, arm pronunciation, would, would it have the, uh, more forms for it? So, cho, ri, chori, chori, become what? Chori, uh, how quite? Chori la. Chori, chori la. Chori la. See, ready? Chori, chori, yeah. Chori. Never mind, okay, we, we try this. Can not. Maybe, can you see? Okay, cannot. It's not there. Okay, maybe I reduce some more. No, it's not found. Okay, not found. And not in the tipitaka. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you. Thanks for your question. Okay, so uh, so now let's, let's go back to the just now the text. Okay, now we are going to translate to English. Okay, so the student, I already give you the assignment. The okay, number one, who is supposed to do number one? Ah, uh, Sayagi. Okay. Yes, one day you can try. Uh, it's so, easy to do, right? All these are very easy to do. Uh, so uh, it's a subject. Okay. And uh, the nominative uh, pronoun. Singular. Singular. Yeah, pronoun. It's also a pronoun. Okay, good. Pronoun. Uh, uh, can say masculine, right? Yeah, okay. If you want to say masculine, yes. This is masculine, right? And uh, meaning is he. Okay. Okay. So then, Tatra uh, is. Tatra is a demonstrative adverb. Okay, demonstrative uh, adverb, yeah. Right? So the uh, meaning is. Meaning is there. There, right? Okay. Then? Uh, kaseya. Kaseya is a verb. Okay. Oh, this word. Remember the present tense? Can you tell me what is the present tense? Is? Coming. Present tense is? What is the present tense? Present tense. Ka? Kasa, is it? Kasa? Kasa. Kasati. Okay. What's the meaning of present tense? Kasati. Uh, plow. Plow, all right. So, okay. So from here, you, you remember, you all you must remember, try to find the present tense first, all right? So now, kaseya, right? From kaseya, what's, so it's a, what kind of a verb it is? Uh, it's optative. A, optative. Third uh, person? Third person, singular. Singular, all right. So how you translate it? He? He, he should. Should? He should. Plow there. Uh, there are four ways to translate, remember? Should. Uh, may. May. Might. Might. Would. Would, right. Okay, so he, very easy. Uh, should, might, would. Another last one is plow, right? Uh, plow so, there. Yeah, okay, so the whole translation will be he should, would, might, plow there, right? So is it easy? Oh, I think this one okay. Huh? No easy. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay. Now, can you tell me how how do you uh what is the root here? Root. Uh, cas. Yes. Okay. Cas plus. A. Conjugation A plus T. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Number two. Okay. Number two. Who is uh, in charge of number two? Is number two uh, he, the student here? All right. Okay. How about number three? Number two is Joyce. Joyce is not around. Okay. Then why we do it? Tumhe is uh Tumhe is a second person. So you all Ida is a is a play. So demonstrative uh at work. It's actually we better call it just at work place. Huh? Ever of place, okay. Wapaya, wapaya. You first, you all must remember how to find. It. Just drop the a ata. So you find it is a wapati. Wapati is a so. Okay. So then the root is wap plus a plus t. All right. So very easy. So here a ya, a ya, and because it's a u o, so it's a ta. Correct. 
So, you all would, might, may, should, so, here. That's all. Okay. So, number three, Chingwen. Yes, this is easy also. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. My young, my young is subject. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, uh, pronoun, first oh, no, yes. person plural. Okay, first person plural, okay. Okay, uh, then, uh, pas pasiyama, pasiyama uh, meaning? Coming from the, what is the pleasant tense for pasiyama? Pleasant pa tense? Pasa. Pasati, alright. Uh, okay, can you find out what's the meaning of pasati? Pasati is C. Okay. And the root is? Root is a uh, pas, P A S. Uh, no, no, no. This, this become? This. Pas. Oh, pas. Pas. Plus the conjugation sign? A. A. Ah, okay. And T. Uh, All right. And okay. plus T. All right. So, yes. So, uh, what kind of verb is this? This is a verb. Is this it's an optative uh, verb. Okay. Optative. Optative, uh, first person plural. Okay, and then the meaning is? Meaning is a C. And should, me, we, might, okay, might, we, should, may, and would. Might, okay. Okay, would and should, okay. Should, yeah. C. Okay, so easy or not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number four. Shumoi, yes. Uh, de, uh, tahim sayeyum. Mm, the okay. so, de is the pronounced uh, second person plural. No, oh, not second person, third person. Oh, yeah, sorry, the person plural. Okay, third person uh, plural, okay. Then, the uh, tahim is a uh, demo adverb day. Okay, so it's an adverb of place, yeah. Okay. So, sayayum, so the presence uh, verb is sayati. Okay, sayati. All right. Can you tell me so, what's, uh, what's the meaning of sayati? Uh, lie down. Okay, lie down. All right. This is lesson one, right? I think lesson one or lesson two. What's the root? Uh, S A Y. Oh uh, no no no! I think last time I asked in the you all do before. C C become remember? Oh S I T yeah S I T. Uh, C become change. A change to A Y. All right. So you got the uh saya saya oh, the, the, and then become saya plus saya you plus y ah, plus T. All right. Saya T. All right. Okay. Now what's the meaning of saya you? Sayum it means uh sayum is the optative verb. Okay, optative. Yeah, it's a verb, right? Mm, the verb uh, second person plural. Second no no not second person. It's a third person. Oh so third person, sorry. Third person, third person plural. Right. There is a four way. Uh should mm -hmm. my so they should they, uh, yeah, they might, they may, they should, and uh, lie down, is, lie down, lie yeah. down, lie down there, right? They might should lie down, yeah. uh, they, all right? Is it easy? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, number five. Okay, who is supposed to, uh, Sumita, number five, yes? Uh, yeah, Sumita, yeah, I'm number mm. five. Yeah, yeah. Aha. Who say yummy? Mm -hmm. uh, aham is I, mm -hmm. is a pronoun, subject, nominative, singular. Okay, pronoun. Who uh, say yeah. yummy is a objective verb, uh, is a first person singular uh, mm -hmm. from the present tense. Who say Okay, what's the meaning yeah. of who say is to touch, to reach, to attain. Normally we say to touch. Touch, touches. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you yeah. just say touch, uh, attain, touch. and then contact. Attain also, right? or reach. Uh, reach. reach. 
reach. Huh? Uh, mm. maybe you said to reach or another by meaning. dictionary. Okay, contact. Okay, okay. Uh. I think contact is better. All right. So yeah. now, what is the root? Root is the root is push p h u s plus plus, uh, plus a the first conjugation plus, yes. plus t. Okay. Yeah, it's the first conjugation, right? First yeah. group. Of so conjugation there. I might, I should, I would, I may touch, attain, or contact. Okay, so I might, I may, I should contact, like contact or touch. So easy, easy? Yes, thank you. Okay, all right. Okay, number six. Who is doing number six? Oh, we Gen C. Is we Gen C here? Is we Gen C here? Yes, yes, I unmute. Okay. All right, to yes. In the ERC. Hmm. Two one is uh, you, you all, okay. you all. Second I know person. you all. You, you only. Two one is you, not you all. It's uh, a second person? Second person. Singular, right? Yes, yes. So you, okay. Yeah, it's a subject here. Subject. Okay, it's a subject here, right? No, two okay. one is subject. Uh, this is the word, yeah. Verb, uh, think, think. Okay, so the present tense is, chin, de, right? Things, beside things, or again, things is okay. All right. So what is the root can be? Ah, c i n t, chin plus, ah, chin plus, e t. No, no, E, E plus, plus T, I. I oh, yeah, chin plus E. Can you remember which group it is? The number E, which group? Uh, Can you remember? E, uh, <laughs> it's the last group, right? So it's a seven group. Seven. Yeah, it's a seven group of conjugation. Seven. Okay. So, chin, te, ya, si. Okay, how you translate this chin, te, ya, si? Uh, you. You uh, what? You, you should. You, you might. Should, you may. You may. You might. You would think. Okay. So is it easy? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Now number seven. Wendy. Yes. Wendy. Yeah. Ma okay. Mayang tahin gacheyama. Mm. Mayang is a pronounced nominative plural. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Meaning okay. way. Okay. Um, Tahim is a uh, verb of place. Okay. Is there? Mm -hmm. Meaning mm -hmm. there. Gacheyama is a verb. Okay. Yeah. So is a. The what verbs. kind of verb? Is a. Um, uh, the root is come to go, change to ga. Okay. And under present, they come ga, ga, right? Plus right. the first conjugation a, then ga chati is okay. the present tense. Yeah. Okay, so ga chati. It, okay. Yeah, and this one right. is in the optative mood. Uh, first person ra ga che yama. Optative first person ra. Okay. Right. So, so how you translate, translate this part? We may, might, should, or would go there. Go there, right? So is it easy? Still okay, this one. <laughs> Thank you. This is actually quite easy here. Okay, <laughs> remember this Tahim is there. Beside Tahim, can you remember in the previous lesson, how many, uh, beside Tahim, there are also other, other Pali for the, this there. Can you remember? Beside the Tahim. Yeah, what else I can you have? Tahim, what else? Is, can you remember? Ta, 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 and? Ta, 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 ta. Okay, any more? Ta, no, ta, 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 Okay, good, yeah. all right. Okay, number eight. Okay, now other students can try already. Anybody want to try other students? Okay, now we will try to finish this. Now we got two, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all right? I think this is not so difficult. So, I... 
it's possible you all volunteer. Anybody want to volunteer? Number eight. Okay. Okay. Say say your name. Yeah. I'm Sally. Okay, Sally. Yes. Yeah. Subject. Mm -hmm. Nominate singular. Okay, nominate singular. Right. I. I, yes. Jinayami uh, is the word. Mm -hmm. Optative first singular. Okay. So now, Jinayami, you, uh, where, where does it come in from? What is the present tense? Jinayati. Jinayati, okay. With a long A or short A? Jinayati. Jinayati or Jinayati? Jinayami. I think Chinati, right? I'm not sure this one. Uh, Chin, Chin, what is it? Chinati is long A. Chinati, all right? Yeah, Chin it's long A. Right. Yeah, Chinati. Yeah. What's the meaning of Chinati? Next hip up. Correct. Or hip up. Yes, hip up and uh, bow up, all right? Uh, how to, what is the root here? Chin. Uh, not chin, chi plus. No. No, okay. Can you remember which group? Fifth, is it? Fifth, is it which group? Yeah, is it fifth? Uh, fourth group, yeah, should be fifth, yeah. Okay, so, uh, right, so I. I should. I. Always, we may. We might, we May, should. My would suit uh, mm him. -hmm. Hits, yeah. Hits up, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's above correct. So hits up and bows up, yeah. No, no S. Okay, thank you, Sally. Thank you. Okay, Sorry. next person, number nine. All right. Want to try number nine? Any volunteer? So I teach you my. Okay, yes, you my. Kutum te akacha akache yum. So this is a question. Mm -hmm. so is how you know a, it's a question? Can you tell us how do you know it's a question? Is that a kuto? Yeah. A, uh, so this is uh, in uh, intro interrogative. Yeah. Okay. So in interrogative. Yeah. Interrogative. So there is uh, the person plural. Mm -hmm. The person plural, but here also is a is a subject here, right? Subject. Yeah. So subject should be which case? Nominative singular. Nominative. Uh, not singular. Nominative. Pura, right? This one you'll learn in future. Okay, now for this agacheyum, right? So, what is the present tense for this? Uh, agachati. Okay, agachati. Come. Agachati comes, all right? Okay, so, how do you get the agachati? What, what so is the, the uh, prefix a plus gum? So, plus to gum, change it to ga. Plus. Yeah, a, a and D, okay. Okay. So this is okay. objective. Okay, so this is a uh, objective. Work. Right? So can it's use work, for, yeah. for option way. My uh, would should me. Okay. So, so it's an objective uh, which person for this the, day? Second the person. Uh, second person plural. Uh, not second person. They is. Oh, sorry, third, third person. person. <laughs> yeah, third person. Okay. okay, good. So the meaning is. So how you mm. translate this one? What's the meaning of kuto? Kuto is. We. Kuto. To. To is. What's the meaning of to? To. We. From, right? From. Uh, related. Uh, okay. From. Way from. Uh. So kuto uh. is. Is a way from. Or from where, right? Where from is a question here. So, uh, 
So okay. the word is the uh, so the sentence is the we 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 might we might yes we, we might we, uh, we would we would we should we should oh, we may not so suitable like, to me yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we may we might maybe not suitable so we would yeah, would, we would, use, no? we no. would, or we should, or we would better, huh? we would, you come from, we would, uh, they uh, come they. from, okay, mm. where should they come from, also can, we should, or where uh, might they come from, can also, where might they come from, where should they come from, where, where would they come from, it is better, okay, mm. okay, okay thanks. You. Okay, thank you. Okay, number 10. We still have three more left. Okay, Shimin, yes? Yes. So, Kutra Mayam Waseyama. Mm -hmm. So, Kutra is an interrogative adverb. So, it's like a question, no? And okay. translate to where. Okay, where? So, the Mayam is a Sorry, yeah. nominative plural. Okay, so first person we say we. Normally plural. Okay, we. So this is a subject here, right? You have to tell yes. us it's a subject. Okay. Yes. Okay, so, so the meaning is we. Waseyama. Okay, so it's a objective lah, huh? So it's a word. Okay. Then we know yes. it's the first conjugation, no? Uh, first okay. person plural. Okay. So the root is a was, v a s. Then the, the root is was, right? Ah, yes, so what is the present tense? Present tense is wasama. Uh, wasama, okay, wasama. All right, you want to say can also, okay? What's the meaning of wasama? Did, stay, dwell. We stay, we dwell, we live, all right? Ah, okay, the okay. root is was plus ah. Ah, okay, yeah. Mm. And then you put ma or here, and t also can, right? Mm. You want to put a mouse, okay. So very easy. All right. What's the question is? Is uh, how can I say where? Okay, so I think maybe the better one is where should we stay? Where should we stay? Okay. Okay, good. Where should we stay? All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Number eleven, right? Next person who want to volunteer? Yatra te. Waseyum Mayam Tatra Gacheya. Okay, next volunteer. This is not so difficult. Anybody want to try? This center is a little bit long. Maybe those are intermediate students. <laughs> Any volunteer for intermediate students? Yeah. All right, you know I'll call the name. Uh, Jenny? <laughs> okay, uh, Saji. Yeah. Uh, Yatra. Yatra is an adverb uh, where. Okay, where? Uh, Pali grammar is a relative adverb. Uh. Okay, yeah. Okay, relative uh, adverb, yeah. Yeah. Say is a uh, day, is a subject. Pali grammar is a is a proverb nominative uh, third person plural. Okay, number yeah. is a plural. Yeah, third person plural. Okay, yeah. then now. Uh, Seyum or seyum is optative, third person yeah. plural. It's a verb. Yeah, sorry. Okay, verb. Well, right. Yeah. Mayam, mayam is a a v subject. Mm hmm. Uh, Pali grammar is a pronoun nominative first person plural. Nominative plural, okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so it is a we here, correct? Yeah, we. Yeah, we. Right. And then, mm -hmm. Patra is uh, meaning there, adverb of place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Pali grammar is demonstrative adverb. Demonstrative adverb, huh? Mm -hmm. 
you need data. Mm -hmm. and okay, then, and then the next one is? Uh, Gachiyama. Mm -hmm. Gachiyama is an optative first-person plural. Okay, optative first-person plural. Uh, it's a verb. Yeah, verb, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, meaning is um, may, might, should, would, go. May, might, may should, should, would, would, go. Okay, go, okay. And right. the waseyong should be would uh would live or would stay. Okay, would stay, alright. Would live. Okay. Okay, stay is there, alright. Yeah. Okay, so the whole meaning is. Uh, the whole meaning is uh, we may go there where they would live or stay. We may go there. Go there. Where, where they, they would, would live. Stay. Yeah. Would live or live stay. Or stay yeah. So it will be we may, we, we may, might, might. Uh, we should, we would. Should, okay. We would go there where they may. would live or they might live. Okay. Yeah, may live. You should not put should, right? So yeah, may live, might live, I think enough. Okay. So all these are updated. Now, can you see this is updated, right? All these are just possibility. We might go there or we might not go there, right? They might go there, might not there. These are all these are updated, all right? We call it potential. It might happen or might not happen. Okay, Jenny? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, next one. Okay, next sentence. Uh, intermediate school, anybody? Right, this is a little bit long one. Welcome. Uh, okay, Sadi. <coughs> okay, yeah. Yahim, Yahim is a uh, relative and verb. Yeah. T yeah. will be the subject. Mm -hmm. So, Nisi De Yung will be the verb. Mm -hmm. uh, Tato is a uh, demonstrative and verb. Tung okay. He the subject. Mm -hmm. And upper gachi theater will be the work. Okay. Okay, then the Pali side, uh, yeah, yeah, him, uh, is okay, am I? Then they will be the uh, third person pronoun, third person nominative mm -hmm. plural. Nominative plural, okay. Then uh, Nisidevi will be the optative third person plural. Plural, okay. Tato, uh, never mind. Tom he will be. You can just the... put as an ablative, no? Because of Tato, ah, yeah, it is also is. ablative. Ah, okay, yeah. ablative. Yes. Yeah. And Tom he will be the uh, pronoun, second person nominative plural. Nominative plural. Nominative plural. Okay. And then, uh, apa Chayato will be the optative. Second person plural. Okay, now we go for the meaning. Okay, yeah, then uh, uh, where, right? Where, yes. Where the the would might uh may should all this the four okay uh, sit. Mm -hmm. From there. That from there, yeah. You all. This one, apa gache? Is it return now? Go back. Something. Apa go go away. Go go away. Yeah. Apa, oh, okay. apa go away? Yeah, I think go, go away. away. Yeah. Okay. Apa is would, like uh, depart from there. Yeah, go away. Okay, so uh, what might me should go away? Hmm. Okay, so how you translate the whole sentence? Uh, you, you all would. Go away from there where they will sit. What? Or you, the, the male, you all may should, also come should maybe. Okay, you should, all should. Yeah. You all should, should, should go, away go away from there, from there where, where they, they would sit. Would sit. Okay. 
where they would sit, where they or may sit. May sit, okay. Yeah. Or might sit. Okay. Might sit, okay. All right. Okay. Yes. So any difficulty here? Uh okay. La. <laughs> okay. So for this kind of sentence, uh, because this is a verb here, so you all can black it, you know, like this. Black it. So you then you can see, all right. So for this kind of sentence, you break it and then uh, you look for the this part first. So we translate the English from here. You all should go away from there where they would sit. They might sit, all right? Yes. Okay, okay. all right. Thanks. Yes. Okay. So it's a one hour. We have a five minutes break. They will continue. Then you can stretch your leg. Okay, stop for a while. Okay, just a... Uh, Nice. Okay, just okay. Okay, previous lesson is about this uh, imperative. Tu andu hi ta ni ma. Dawatu dawantu. Dawa dawahi. Dawata dawami dawama. So you notice that dawa is short form. Dawahi is a long form. So today we are going to study the this one, some of the sutta like this, all right? Especially you always see with the tu and tu, all right? So I'll go to the chanting that we are still a little bit demanding. Sorry, Sayaji. Hmm? Uh, I, I can go back to the lesson seven at uh, the question nine. Uh. Okay, oh, you want to go back to lesson seven? Okay, yeah. yes. Okay, another, yes. Another word for the kama akacha. If I use the word uh, ati one, how how would it be formed? Ah? Thank you. Ati? Uh -huh. Ati will be si ya. Yeah. All right, oh, you want to use, use it, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, use, use okay, ati. let's say we, for this question, this question, uh, you want to change it to ati, right? Uh -huh. Okay, let's say, kuto te si ya. Si ya oh, si yum. Yeah. Wait, wait, si. not si ya, si yum, yeah. Sia, siyum, this one, siyum, asu, siyam, su. Oh, you will use this one now. Yeah, yeah, okay, so let's go for number nine again. Oh, where's that? Thank you. Kuto te, kuto te, siya. So kuto is? Question. Say, kuto is of from where? Te is de, siya hmm. would be. Okay, oh, it means that the question will be? The question would be, where would where would they be? From where? I don't know. From where? Okay. From where? From where would they be? From where would they be? Mister, from where they come from? They found a question. All right. Where would it be? Or oh, they mean it's another word. It would be yeah, would be I, yeah. Word, because uh, for be. this is a uh, siya ayum. You just use the word would be right. Would should might be right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. So like this, siya would be. This woman would be. That's all. Okay. Can I go back to a question just now? Okay. Number nine. Yeah. 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 You shouldn't use the word kuto, you shouldn't change it kuhim or ku, kutra. But if you want to use kuto, then from How where? can you use kuto when you should be? Hmm? You change the word siya already, you change the verb already. Okay, so let's say we don't want to use the kuto, we change it to kuhim. Kuhim lah, should be kuhim and where are they, where are they, where are they? Okay, then yeah, okay. Where would they, where would they, where would they be? Yeah, they like be. Same where would they be? We can change one, one word. <laughs> we can change, okay. No, okay. Could him te siyum? Then it will be easier. Where would they be? Okay. Instead of kuto, where would they come from? Hmm. Okay. Anyway, all these are possibility. If we really need, we can check the tipitaka. So if we can find the such kind of a pattern of words or not. All right. If no question, I will go back to the. I want to go to the chanting, right? No. Okay, Sayati. Okay. No problem. Okay, so previously we had done some of the, like, uh, we talked about those two and two. 
normally you all see the two and two in the sharing of merits. Okay. So this either me or either no, yatina hop two, because this is the imperative third person singular. Sukita hon two and this unto because it's a this unto because it's the imperative third person plural. Right? So Every time you remember, when you chant this, remember it's imperative. You can find imperative on the lesson six. All right? Today we are on lesson seven, but I, I just do some revision on lesson six. All right? So you find this on the lesson six of the Pali Made Easy. All right? So this is another one. Now, another one is when you chant this sutta, this is actually we come, this sutta I call Tilo Kuta Sutta from the Kutaka Nikaya. Uh, one of the, uh, I think people always chant this one, right? So there are a few things, for example, Upa Kapati, coming this Upa Kapatu, Upa Kapati. From the Upa plus Kap, plus the root Kap and A, all right, plus T, means approach. To be beneficial or suitable. This the root is cup, alright. Means to be able to be fit for. And then you got another wuta, this wuta, right? It's a past participle for wasati, rain. Okay. Uh, maybe here it's translated falling down. Okay, anyway, we can check later. It actually rain or the water. Yeah, there's only rain. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, da. Da, you always know da because you heard the word when we say dana. Okay. Dana means coming from this da. The root is da plus ana. Ana suffix. Ana suffix is always required now making. It makes things to be now. So da, da become deity. Deity is gifts. Right? So here you see this dina. It's actually one of the past participle, all right? Anyway, for basic students, they have not learned the past participle. It's good any anyway you familiarize with some of the thing here. Da plus ina become dinna. So the key word is we are learning the pawatati, all right? Pawata is a uh, happens here it translates as fall down. But another meaning of pawatati is just simply like a uh, taken place or moves or proceeds or uh, to move on, okay. So another meaning is uh, to move on. No, you fall down is okay. Move on. So on the highland, the water on the highland, it rain. Um, yeah. Here you as a falling down, falling down, and then the uh, falls down to the plain. To the means that Nina is a kind of like lower ground or. Uh, those plates lower, right? So ema mewa in uh, ewa is indeed or so from here. Okay, this one you learned before ito. All right, remember the to here. You have the tato. Tato is from there. So ito is from here. Okay. So from here. What is given from here? What is given? Dina, given from here. Uh, upa kapatu. Okay, this is another thing you heard. Tu here is imperative, right? So imperative, third person, singular. Go to uh, may or let it to benefit to the departed ones. All right? So I think some of you were familiar with this chanting. You see the tu here already. So last time too, how we trans translate may or let. So you can show here may. So may this may or let this may may this may or let this may go to benefits means that it will helpful to the departed one. All right. So you see this two here, and you, this one you see already in your uh lesson on I think lesson number what? Yeah, yeah, number six ito. And this present tense, okay? Present tense, you already see in your first lesson. Present tense, third person, singular. Okay, so these three, you all should be able to recognize. Pawatati, 
the present tense, the person, singular. He talk from here. Oka patuk. Tuk means uh, may or let go to benefits. Okay, so this is some of the new vocabulary. Uh, upakapati, uta, uh, upon the power sati, raining. Okay, wasati, rains. Deti, here become dina. Tato, ito. Okay, so this one. This also another chanting people use for uh, sharing marriage. It's also same, it's actually same to ta. And then it's a uh, yada. Is a S, wari waha, rivers or crowd, pura, full, full of water, pari purenti, sagaram, make the ocean full. All right? So, ewa mewa, so this sentence is same with the above one. Ewa mewa, what is ito, what is given from here, dina given from here, upa, a petanam, upa kapato, may it benefits to the, uh, of the departed one. Or you can translate if you want to use the dative also to to the about the ones also can. Maybe use the two is better. So here this pari purenti is a present tense. Okay, because uh, you see this anti. Right? So it's a present tense, third person, pura. And then opakapato is like just now. Imperative, third person. Singular. So you can translate may or let. Let the benefits, uh, let our good merits be the support or be beneficial to the departed ones. Okay, any question about these two? I think this is the last two then. I not explain yet. Okay. For this Pawatati, so when you learn any verbs, it's good to uh, try to uh, diagnose it, try to divide it, right? So easy, prefix pa plus uh, what plus a and d. So, so this is not difficult. Upa kapato is uh, just now, upa plus kap plus a and d or two here. And this one, pari purenti. This is, prefix is very easy. Pali, alright? So remember you have the 20 prefix. Pali plus the pu plus the a and the anti. So because here translate as make pu, so for those intermediate students, this will be the uh, causative one. Yeah. Plus the anti suffix. Okay. Pali pu anti. So this chanting is powerful because it's talking about Comparison. Comparison when the water coming from high play, it will fall down naturally to the ground, right? So whatever good merits we have, what is a given from here, let it or may it let it go to benefits to the departed one or of the departed one. So it's talking about natural things about water here. And also here is the rivers or clouds full of water. So they will naturally make the ocean full. So whatever merits. That is given here, may it go and uh, benefits to the departed one. Okay, so that's why you see here with the two here because it's a kind of like wish, right? So may or let, right? You see these two, and also the earlier one is this hotu and hontu. So sharing of marriage, we always use the two and hontu. And remember, like aham awero ho me, and then abiyabaja, then after that, go. Suki hontu. Or this tu and tu always refer to wish. All these are imperative mode. Alright. Any question up to here? You know, I will go for the Alawaka Sutta. This just to uh, show you all how do we use the present tense, how do we use the ito, right? This is the adverb here. And how do we use the this imperative here with the tu here? Uh Saji. Yes. One question, sir. Uh, mm. you, sometimes uh, uh, when uh, devotee meet the, the other devotee, then the, he'll say something like suki ho tu, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but uh, which means you wish the other person uh, happy lah. Yeah? May you be, the person, be happy. Yeah. Uh, but ho tu is the person ma. <laughs> you are, you are right, wishing right, the right. 
they call it what? Suki? Hohi should be Suki Hohi, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But normally, because the people always used to eat already. Because when you listen all the hot tuk, hot tuk, hot tuk, hot tuk. So, that uh -huh. Sukita hon tuk, right? All right. Yeah, normally, but if you want to recite suki or he. Mm. Suki or he will be right. Like. Or hota. So, in terms of grammar, a song, grammar is not correct, la, but see people already accept. So, we just say suki yeah. hotu. La. <laughs> suki, suki ho, hotu or hontu. Right? Hontu. La. Uh, hotu yeah. or hontu. Yes. Actually, you can take it like may all beans, right? Or you can translate like, you can in a way, you can sabe sata may all beans. All beans be including be uh, okay, yeah. including yeah. you, including you, you okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, you and me also, right? Be mm. happy. That is okay lah, fair and fair because everybody want to be happy. You and me also, right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. So like suki hotu. Okay. May you be happy, right? So we have another one, aroga, arogo, aroga, arogo. Anyway, yeah. Okay. So it's just a grammar point, but since everybody likes suki hotu or suki honto, it's okay. May all beings everybody be very happy. So this is uh, just to show you some of the grammar point we see, especially this Sharon Marys, you can use tu, most likely we use tu or untu here. Okay. And then you can see already, we already learned this ito here. Next week, we will learn this yata, right? Yata, the ta suffix. Yeah, this is the next week. So this one you'll find on the lesson, uh, yeah, yeah, lesson seven. Oh yeah, just I didn't go through. So, okay, lesson seven also got this yata. So, pardon me, you think. Okay. Okay. You see this, all right? Itam, pass in this way. A1, okay? You can see, just now also got this A1 here, this. Tada. This ta always means way. So, ta means that. So, ta means way. So, this ya is wherever. Ta is way, in whatever way. But another meaning is such as. Okay? Another meaning is such as. Katam means it's a question how in what way. So sache is if, yadi is if. So all these are express a question like sache or yadi if so is he. All right. Gacheya means would go. If he should go. Right. Sakote lu is sa able. So we see this yata just now in the chanting yata in a what. We also see this A1, all right? So yada A1, let's go back to just now. Okay, yada, all right? S, or if you don't want to use S, you can say in that way, according to grammar, in that way. Okay, yada in that way or so. Means that in that way or in uh, it's just example as I think the English you right? this is just showing the example of the raining uh, the rain or the the rain and here the rivers and clouds made the ocean full so it's a yada as or just like sometimes we you can use the word yada is like just like okay in the way or just like as this one is yada a one mewa okay in that way. A1 or so, A1 mewa. So we also see this A1. So I can put red color so you know actually it covers already in this lesson uh, number seven. Okay. So lesson seven at like this one. Lesson seven also talk about this. Lesson seven. And lesson six already we learned about this ito. Okay. And then this uh, upa kampatu is lesson number. Two is also lesson number six, okay? Lesson number six. So you can see all this grammar we cover already. And then the anti, all these are lesson number one, right? So lesson seven, yada. Anti, present tense, lesson one. A1, you can find in lesson seven. 
Okay, lesson seven. A1. Ito, lesson six. Okay? So these are the things. When you learn the grammar, you come and then uh, try to see how they apply in the chanting here. I think who 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 know how to uh Barika, you know this chanting, right? Uh yeah. Can you chant? I think you chant better than me. Which one? <laughs> this one. Uh, the transfer Melissa. Uh yeah, this one. Yeah. Udame, Udame, Udakam Wutam. This one. Oh. You want me to chant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you, you have a better voice than me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, I try I try. Usually this is a manga the manga chan I didn't follow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can. Okay. Uname. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. I can't I get the tune. Uname Udakang Wutang Atadinang Pawatati Ewa me wa ito dinang petanang upakapatu. Yatawari wahapura pari purinti sagarang. Ewa me wa ito din nang peta nang upakapatu. So you know the meaning, right? Of all the words. Yeah. Roughly lah, roughly. Roughly lah, yeah. roughly lah, not all <laughs> Okay, okay. Anyway, yeah, it's okay for basic students just for them to know the this. The red color one is uh, already quite covered in, uh, in the lesson one, uh, seven and six. All right. Okay, thanks, Baraka. Okay, so no question. I will go for the Alawa Sutta. We still have half an hour left. So I want to go and let you look at the Sutta. This is chanting, all right? Alawa Sutta is a Sutta. Any question? Okay, no. Okay, let's go for the next one. Okay, Alawaka Sutta is a very interesting Sutta. Actually, sometimes it's good, uh, beside the normal chanting, we learn other Sutta here. It's a, this is a, a Yaka. Yaka can be a good or bad. Sometimes Yaka, we, we call it, uh, we translate as demon. You know? There's an English, we call it demon. In a sense, it's a bad one. But sometimes Yaka can be good one. But this Yaka is a bad one. Because he, uh, he likes to eat fresh. No. So you can see the story here. Later I'll update the, this one and send to you. Right? So after that, he sees the king and then uh, obtain the promise from the king that will provide him with a human being. <laughs> so he likes to eat human. All right? So all the people in the town, they left the city. Right? So we only time the is only left is the son of the king. So it, it's called Alawaka, the king's own son. Right? So then the king, he also let the child send to the Yaka. So the Buddha with the compassionate eye, he know what happened and went to Yaka abroad. So at that time, the Yaka, he was in the meeting with other Yaka. So the doorkeeper uh, admitted the Buddha. So the Buddha, he went and sat in the Alawaka throne. So while the Gandrapa, the housekeeper, went to Hima, Himawa, Himawa should be Himalaya, announced the master, the Buddha arrival. So when the master was there and preached uh, this Alawaka to the Alawaka uh, women folk, and then the two, these two are very famous, okay? Satagiri and Hemawata. All right. So they pass over the A and then they know the Buddha. So they cannot fly. They cannot fly over the Buddha. So they descended to the palace and then uh, pay respect to the Buddha. Right. So this Alagaga, he heard, and then he was uh, very angry. Right? So he was very angry. So he came back to his abode. Then with all the natural powers, he could command, he tried to uh, make the Buddha move from the seat, but without success, even with his special weapon. Then, then the story from the Sutta come. He approached the Buddha, he asked him to leave the house, which the Buddha did. Then he summoned the Buddha back and he came. So three times, right? Three times the Buddha went out, come back, went out, come back. So the three times the Buddha obeyed, right? Because he asked, the Buddha understand that 
compliance means that by the Buddha following the order of this Alaka, the uh, the Yaka, the Yaka will be uh, reducing his anger. So the fourth time, the Buddha refused to return. Then the Alawaka asked the Buddha some questions. So this happened in the poem there. So finally, at the, at the end, when the Buddha answered all the questions, and then the uh, Yaka becomes Sotapanna. Right? Then talking about the rest. Okay, actually, it's quite interesting, this Sutta. All right, so we this is the, some of the background story. Later, I send to you all. So we look at the Pali now. We still have half an hour left. So this SN means from the Samyutta Nikaya, then number two, Alawaka Sutta, discourse to Alawaka the Demon. So I get from this website, you can copy there, and there's a chanting there also. So from the task here is for you all to understand the tenses, the verbs, like present tense, imperative, optative, which we learned today. Imperative, we learned on the lesson, uh, imperative is lesson six. All right. Okay, so these are lesson six. Optative is the today, lesson seven. Always means past ten, all right? Uh, present ten will be lesson one, I think one to three or something. Lesson one, two, two, three. Okay, three, okay. So, here, we are trying to do revision in this way because I think at no point we're going to revise the Parliament Easy Book because it's good to apply our knowledge of all the present tense, imperative, optative, and we and then we, from this, we can get to know more nouns and verbs. Uh, let's say, A1 me sutam, all right? Uh, okay, so task A1, you see the A1, we already learned just now. You can see the A1 in the lesson seven, L7, right? Me sutam. Me sutam, I think, is a not yet cover. Sutam is a past participle you'll find in the lesson 15. So task have I heard. This me actually is a instrumental. It's talking okay by me, right? Task I heard actually in the direct sense will be task uh, this have been heard by me, okay? So me is by me. Who is this me? Normally refer to the vulnerable Ananda. So now the story starts, no? Just I explain briefly the story. So at one time, on one occasion, Eka is one, all right? Samayam is one occasion. So we can break here. Now, the subject is the blessed one, blessed one, the Bhagawa. He was leaving. Now, you can see the, the Pali is Biharati. So, you understand, you get to know one verb here. And it translates as past tense. Was leaving. But actually, we already learned in our present tense. Present, we can translate like leaves. He, uh, here will be, the Buddha will be, he uh, does, he lives, he does live, he is living, all right, the Buddha. But here, because this contact is a past, right, so we can use he is living also, but here it translates, he was living. Actually, it's totally this one, he is living, become he was living. So the blessed one, the subject here, it's very easy. So it's talking about time here. So subject is the best one. He was living at the yam. Yam is a feminine one. So it's a place here. So it's a verb. He was living. So all these are genitive, 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 right? So this is also the place. Okay. Locative case. In the abode of the demon, al yaka ko alawaka. So you can see the verb here already. Viharati. Now, we already noticed that it's not put at the end. It's not put at the end, all right? It's not put here, but it's put here. Because why? You can see here, place number one and place number two. So, place number one, place number two. So, verb here, place, put here. It means that it's linking with the, this place one and linking with the place two. So, that's one way we can analyze here. Anyway, it's a very easy one. On one occasion, the blessed one was uh, living in 
And this Alawi is a place here in the abode of the demon Alawaka. So you, this you will see in the lesson one, all right? Present time. Atako, so at that time, Alawako. Now you notice that here is Alawasa. It's genitive here, become here, so nominative is a subject here. Right? So Alawako, Yako. Yena, all these are relative here, right? For those uh, you all learn, you always see when the Y here is a relative here. So anyway, this is a subject. So this is a relative sentence or the Ya. Remember last time you learn all the what the uh this uh yatra satra okay then uh, another one is a uh, what is a uh, lesson uh, okay so when you have the yatra yatra so all these are why those type of why is a relative like this yena. Yena is actually linked with this. Yena, yena. Yeah, yena, tena, right? So here will be yena is linked with the tena, all right? So this is native, all right? Native here. So Bhagawa actually is a subject here also. But that's how they write sentence, all right? Alawako, Yako, Yena, Bagawa, Te, Nupa, Sankami. This is a me here, actually. It's not me, it's a e. e is a past tense here. So this one you all not learn yet. So anyway, this is always past tense. Okay. Upa, Sankami, Tua. All right. So we can, we can just copy to the next sentence. Now you notice that you have two upasankami upasankami tua. So from here you can try to get the present tense, all right? Present tense is very upasankami tua. You remove the itua and you put the, all right? So this is a approaches, right? Approaches yeah, here is past tense, yeah. Approach. So this is approaches. Kabin tua is a gerund here. Upasankami tua. After approaching, so if translate after approaching the blessed one and then a set to the blessed one. Eta awucha set. Okay, this is a past tense here, but you all not learn yet. All right, this is a past tense here. Okay, now we are going to learn about the this imperative. Okay. So nikama. Get out. All right, so the samana. Samana is the cruise. So, ma here. How? Remember, you have the imperative, right? So, imperative, second person, what we see is the shoka is jana, janahi, right? So, like last time we learned is like dawa and then dawa, dawa hi, right? So here, if nikama will be nikama, nikama hi, right? Second person imperative. So instead of using the hi, this is too long, so they are just to use the short version, not nikama. So imperative, second person, right? Samana, samana evocative case. All right, get out or you get out. Okay, you get out. Okay, you get out. The cruise. Sometimes samana we can translate the cruise aesthetic. Sometimes they translate as mang also. You get out and with the iti. Ti here means coming from the word iti, right? Ti here means coming from the word iti. Iti is kind of like end of quotation. So you get out. All right. Then the Buddha say. Sada awaso. Sada awaso means sadu awaso. Awaso means friend, right? Sadu means good friend or very well friend. The Buddha call him friend because Buddha are trying to make him uh, less angry because this uh, Alawaka was very angry with the Buddha. 
and then iti. Sada was iti. Then the blessed, blessed one, the Buddha, Nikami. Uh, so this is a past tense, all right? So when you notice that past tense is always with the I. Past tense you will learn on the next lesson, okay? Lesson uh, number eight. So we have the past tense here. So this uh, lesson eight, you will come to this past tense. This also, I watch also lesson eight. So this me also, lesson eight. Okay, and this Nikama. So it's a previous on imperative. There's a lesson number six. Okay. Okay. Nikama samanati sadu sadu because sada of sada wuso ti bagawa nikami. Right. So the alaka, alawaka, the yaka command the Buddha. So here you cannot say like, uh, you cannot translate like, because this is a command, all right? So you cannot translate like, may you get out. You cannot translate in this way, all right? So you just say, get out. That's the best one. Very short to the point. Because it's a command, all right? Get out. Then he say, then after that, he asked him to come in again. Pawisa, all right? So you notice that Pawisa is a, also imperative, Second person. So it can be Pawi Sa or Pawi or Pawi Sa Hi, like the Dawa Dawa Hi, right? So it can be short or long. But here they choose the short one because this is a command. That's why we make it short. Pawi Sa Samana. Come in, you really close. Then the Buddha says, Sada Wusu Ti. Bagawa, power si. Now you can notice this is si already. This is a past tense. This one, sa, is an imperative. Okay? Like nikama is an imperative. You get out. Nikami is a past tense. Right? So this is a past tense. So it's the same thing. So you can see how the grammar is working here. Okay, so any question up to here? Okay, any question? So other thing you learn also like lesson Jaren, you will come to lesson number nine. Jaren is actually interesting because there are many types. So, past ten is a lesson number eight, Jaren. So, sooner or later, we will come to Jaren. Jaren is very easy. With the tua here means translate like um, after or after approaching or having approach. All right? So, the Buddha said so. Okay? If no question, I continue, all right? Then after that, nikama, first nikama samanati, pavisa samanati, go out, come in. Then the second time, duti yampi, it's like the, we call it the taking reference of duti yampi. For the second time also, to the second time, alawako yako, the subject here, say to the blessed one, all right, pagawata, etawacha. Then she, he also said for the second time, nikama, Samana is exactly like above, right? Then Pawisa Samana, he commanded the Buddha for second time. Then for the third time, Sati Yam Pi. Pi is means like emphasis. Ko has no meaning. For the third time, Alawako Yako Bagawa Tam to the bag the Bagawa. Eta da wacha said this, right? Nikama Samana, right? Then Pabisa Samana, say again. Then the fourth, the fourth time, Chattu Tampi Ko, the Alawakos Yako, Bhagavatam, to the Blessed One, say Eta, Awocha, say like this, Nikamana Samana, come in. Right? So departed. Right? He will ask the, the Gautama, the Buddha, to depart, to get out. 
Now the Buddha refused. He said, Na ko no ka waham awoso nikami sami yam te karani yam tam karo hi ti. Now you notice this hit, all right? This is the imperative. Okay, this is the one. Then the one now, okay. Na ko ham awoso ni kami sami yante karinani tam karoji. Okay, na is no. So how you break this sentence? Na plus ko plus aham. Okay, so no. No is not. Old friend. Friend is our soul. Our soul is friend. Okay. Nikami sami. Alright. So nikami sami is a future tense. So have you learned future tense? Future tense, I think lesson number uh, five. Alright. So this is a future lesson number five. Isami. Alright. Isami. So I will not go out. So isami coming from just now. This nikama. Nikame, all these are them because the present tense is a is a nikamati, right? With the root nis plus a kam, right? And up plus it means a uh, depart, right? Or leave, right? Or get out here, right? means a move away from this place. The, I will not go out. Okay, maybe just put it on, go out. Okay. Nisa. Remember this Isa is future. So I will not go out. Right? Oh, no. No, old friend. I will not go out. So the Buddha still talk very nice to this Alawaka. Kohin friend. I will saw his friend. Alright? Yam te karni yam tam karohi. Alright. Karohi. We'll, today we learn this karoti, right? Karoti. Okay. Karoti, right? Karoti is do, make. So you got karo, he. Karoti, he is sec imperative, second person, singular, right? So you see this he. So you have the, this. Karo hi plus iti, right? Combine I and I become long I here. Karo hi ti. So means, uh, you can say karo hi ti means, uh, so here, let's say we go forward. No, okay. no, ko, I, our so friend mm, will go out. Uh, yam is what uh, you should maybe Karnia should do. Okay. Tam is eat, uh, let, or may you do. Okay. Whatever you should do, you, you do whatever you should do. All right. So here is this Karo hit you see here. It's a command here. Um, the Buddha said, you may do whatever you should do, right? So you see this also, this is also you see in the imperative mode. So this is also covering the lesson six, yeah. Imperative, imperative, second person singular. Okay. Alright, so actually come to here, you'll notice that you already learned this present tense, uh, future tense, imperative. Alright, so this also learned already. Imperative. Pawisa, okay, imperative also. Okay, all these are same. All right, so Eka Samaya, at one time, I will repeat the blessed, blessed one uh, in the Alawi, Alawi Viharati.
Okay, it's a present time, but it translate as a, we can translate he is living, but here we translate he was living. The blessed one was living at the Alawi, Alakasa of the Alawaka at the Brawani, right? So at his abode or mansion. So you got the Yatra, Yatra here, Yena, Tina is relative one, all right? You see the relative function on the lesson number six, yeah, okay? So you can put L6, yeah? So where the Buddha is, he approached, that's the meaning, right? So this past then you will learn next week, or next, next week's Horus, yeah? Okay, so after approaching the Buddha, then the blessed one said this, Eta Vovocha. So, Nekama Samanati, Sada Vosoti Bhagawa Nekami. So, the Buddha went out. Pavisa, imperative again. Kamin Samanati, Sada Vosoti Bhagawa Pavisi. Then, Dutia time. Dutia Ampi, second time go, Alawako Yaku, Bhagawa Tam Eta Tabosa. He said to the uh, Alawaka, Alawaka said to the Buddha for the second time. All right, then he repeat again. Then finally, the Buddha, for the fourth time, he commanded the Buddha to get out. This means that the Buddha already come in. He asked the Buddha to get out. Nikama, get out. Then the Buddha said, Na kwa wa, na kwa ham awoso, nikami sami. I will not get out. You can see the na is put in front. Right? So here, this means that you can put, if we are going to write in that, you can put uh, like, um, aham. Okay, let's see. You can put aham. Maybe awusu. Na. Nika. Okay. I will not go out. But if you want to emphasize, no, really no. So that's why I put the na. Kind of emphasis put in the first place. Okay. Na. Aham. Okay, you want to put ko also as an emphasis. Not ko, aham, awoso, nekamisame. So I will not get out for friend. So you can do whatever you should do. Or whatever you want to do. This aya, aya grammar you will see in the lesson, I think is quite further down there. Aya. Uh, lesson 33, all right? So on the lesson 33, you will see this. So page one three zero. One three zero. All right. So just have a preview here because we are not <clears throat> jumping today. Yeah? So it, it normally translates as a, a fit to be or should be or would be, right? Okay, should be, all right. Should be, should be, right? Or oh, fit to be, okay. You should do or fit to, to be done. Okay, sometimes we maybe could fit to be done. You should do or let you do whatever should uh fit to be done, something like that. Okay. Okay, then that's all. All right, I think that's all. If uh all right, so I think some more we can con continue next week. I think it's interesting to study. Any question or anything you want to say before we stop? Normally, Jenny got lots of questions. How about Jenny? You got question here? Yeah? Actually, I, I, uh, what do you call? I briefly run through the lesson seven. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the, the A, yeah, they have the short form, right? The A and then the A, C, A, me, mm -hmm. A, ma. So, I try to find in some of the dictionary, uh, but I couldn't find, uh, what do you call? Like A uh, A. Oh, you mean the short form? Okay. Yeah, like uh if you go back to the lesson. Okay. This one? Ah uh, yeah. I, I try okay. to find like Da We uh Da We Si Da We Ma. Uh I you cannot find. Yeah, I cannot find. I, I okay. try a few uh, like two or three. Okay. Dawe ta. Maybe don't find the Dawe or I think the 
I think the one he really want to emphasize is this, this one, Kaira. Kaira. Maybe. I think he tried to, this one, because this form, I think, is much more common. Common, right? right? Like the short form, that one, not so common, right? Mm, I, I think this one is also quite common, yeah. That's why yeah. the whole thing is trying to come to this place. Let me do a search now. Okay, I'll show you later. Kaira. Yeah, there is. Okay, let me show you. Okay, can you see? All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here, a man do, should do, if, okay, chase if. If a man do uh, evil, uh, not is no, it should not do it again and again. So it's the Dhammapada here. I think he tried to come to this Kaira. Kaira is quite common, yeah. It's actually quite common here. All right. So On do the... you can see the this one, 213. It's quite a lot, right? 213. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, but, let me try the <clears throat> the other one, all right? Uh, the... Kaleya. I try the Kaleya, all right? This is 213 here. You see, Kareya is more common, 905. So that is uh, the one we see just now is also quite common, right? Because you have the what? Uh, 215 just now. So let's see. Okay, this is 905. So we go back to just now. 213 is actually quite common also. This one is only 1 to 10. So you still go down, down, down. You can see. Yeah. This is the commentary already. So let's go earlier on. Jataka. All right. So Jakarta is in the Jakarta you can see. Uh so this one. The charter do what do uh non dharma means an unrighteous thing. Charter should do non dharma if you and me uh depart should we say from the forest, yeah, something like that. Nikam nam. Nikam nam should. Nikam nam should. What's the name? Nikam nam. Nikam nam. Dick. Yeah. Should dig. Right? Dig inside. Yeah. Sometimes the window has some problem. Right? Anyway, some of the sutta you can find. Anyway, right, this 213 is quite common here. Mm. Okay. So, if the charter would do unrighteous thing, if you and me dig in the forest, okay. Yeah, you can see here. Kaira. Hmm. It seems to be not so common, but it still happens. Right? Right, but you just know your Dawe C. So let me see, can I find the Dawe C? Dawe C, all these are, we call it um, maybe. That's why it tries to show all the possible examples here. But not to say it really happened here. Dawe C. Okay, Dawe, yeah. But this is uh, only one. Okay, only one. Only one here. So let's try. Only two here. All right. How about you say another one? That way. Two only. Maybe that way you. But I think that way and that way you is already, is already covered here. Only one. That way you. Okay, yeah, that way you all right. So it happens also. Okay, but not the short form, I think. The version that way. Yeah, it's only one or two. All these are quite what we say uh might happen or might not happen, but at least it try to show all possibility. Alright, so I hope you all today enjoy the Sutta reading, you know, because like I say. 
<laughs> learning the grammar book is like you go to restaurant, you see the menu, you don't eat, you just see and see and see. But when you really go to Sutta and learn, it's like when you go to Sutta and learn and get the taste of the Pali, taste of Dhamma, it's more interesting. Okay, so next week we will do, we still go back to lesson seven, and then uh, we, I will do always like this, one hour on the uh, grammar, another one hour on the chanting or sutta. So you all like this, you all can pick up more vocabulary, and you all can see how the Pali grammar is applied in the sutta. Okay? Uh, excuse me, Sajji. Yes? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let's say if we were to translate from English to Pali, yeah, Let's say, mm -hmm. example, the word he may run. So if the word may, it mm -hmm. can be optative or imperative. Yes, right? yeah, yeah. So you write two, then you write two answer. You write I imperative write or optative, right? Yes, okay. But may he run, may he run is a... It also imperative. depends on how you say. Actually, it depends, like we say, like just now you say the manner. When you, the yaka, he asked the Buddha. He, he will say... Pavisa is very short. He uses a short form, you not know, Pavisa, he or whatever. All right. So, so it depends on the tone on the language. So let's say you say may he run or he may run or whatever. It depends on how you say the English. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But let's say let you run. You run is an imperative. Or may you run, it might be a wish to somebody who listen it. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you may run or he may run, you write too. So normally, in uh, when you do homework, you should write covering all the possibilities. Okay, then in this way, you pick up the the good translation, and you also pick up the good body. So, I mean, some of the students, you only give me one answer. Should write all the possible answers. Then the second okay. question that the one the one uh, mm -hmm. they say uh, they say yeah uh, see right is optative, mm -hmm. and then the short form is they say see. But then mm -hmm. they say see also can be past ten. Or... <laughs> they say see. Yeah. They say see. They say see. They Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, with the C suffix. Yeah, it's it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Because okay. so like we say the uh T and D C Tamima with the two and two hitamima, you can see the C Tama also same, right? T and D C Tamima and two and two hitamima. The ta me, ma, are same. Yeah, Alright? Yeah, For the present tense and then the imperative are same. Yeah. yeah, okay? So there are a lot okay. of possibilities. <laughs> yes, possibility. Yeah. So just write all the possible answers. Then in this way, your grammar will be more firm or more confirmed. Alright? Uh, if no okay, question, we'll so stop. Yeah. Alright? No question, we'll stop. Okay, alright. Uh, you... Sayalde, can I ask yes? you? Uh, yes. uh, this uh, karaniyam. Just now you said kar karaniyam is from the word karoti, is it? The place yeah, yeah. is karoti. Yeah, karoti, yes. Mm. Ah, karoti, yeah? So yes, yes. Kar, the, the... kar plus uh, aniya. Kar plus aniya suffix. Then, then in the yeah. Metta Sutta, we always start with karaniyam. Karaniyam, yes. Yeah. What, what Things that karaniyam? should be done. Should be done. Yeah. What should be done means that uh, the actually the Buddha talking about those qualities you should do right. like you, oh, you should be should honest, be you should be uh, very uh, firm, you should <laughs> there are various quality mentioned there. You should be capable, you should uh whatever okay. qualities. Yeah. Any good mm. qualities that you should have for a meditator and for should be cultivated, should be yeah, developed. Normal people also, okay? Oh, so the the karaniya also from the word karoti, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank so, you. Okay. Thank you. All right. So Good we night. two hours already. Good night. Okay. Thank you. See you on next. Good night. Thank you very much. Thank you, Saiji. Good night. Thank you, Saiji. Thank you, Saiji. Sado, sado, sado. Good night. Take care. Bye bye.